Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with Windows. This is if we cannot complete the updates undoing changes. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I would suggest doing would be to open up the search menu. And you want to type in services. Best result should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to go down to the background intelligent transfer service and double click on that. Set startup type to either automatic or automatic delayed start. And then if the service status is stopped, you want to start it. And if it's presently running, we're going to go ahead and actually stop it and then start it up. Basically, we're just going to cycle through it for a moment here. And then once that's done, select OK. And then we're going to go down to the Windows Update service itself. So just scroll down here. And you want to double click on that. Again, startup type, you want to set that to automatic. And if service status is stopped, select start. In this case, it's like the other service that was already running. So we're going to stop it. And then we're going to start it up again. And then once that's done, select apply and OK. And you want to close out of here. And now open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best match should say command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this command line window, you want to go ahead and copy and paste the first command. It's a DISM command. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. Okay, and once that has concluded, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video. This is the system file checker utility. Paste it into the command prompt the same way we did the first one and run it. Once it has concluded, close out of here and you want to restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.